What's going on guys? My name is Grinnin and today we are playing Skyrim, but uh, there's a little bit of a twist on it. So what we are doing today is we are going to be testing out the Skyland mod. Now this just came out within the past week and it is said to be a complete texture overhaul for the PC version of Skyrim. Now it is said to cover white around the rift, the reach, snow areas, mountains, cliffs, rocks, bridges, roads, caves, mine floors, etc, etc, etc. Now this is really exciting because if you're like me, you would have put tons and tons of hours into Skyrim, but Every time it gets a little bit better, it just excites you so much more. So what we're going to be doing today is just we're going to play. I'm not going to properly overview this mod because I feel like that just kind of wrecks it. Like, oh, I'm going to look for the coolest thing in the game and then I'm going to showcase that. But this is going to be different because we're just going to go in, we're going to play, and we're going to see if we can notice things along the way. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. I just slapped my table right there and it was loud as shit. I'm sorry for that. Now before we start, I'm going to apologize right away because I have a very, very clicky keyboard. So you guys will hear that in the background. I do apologize for that if it bugs you. If not, then fuck it. Let's get straight into it. So I believe we are working on the main storyline right now. I am only level 20, I think, because I haven't played this game too much. I, and like I said, I put so much time into the old version of Skyrim that when the remaster came out I was kind of like oh okay well, I'll get around to playing it eventually now I didn't notice anything just then but holy shit you can just tell it's sharper the inside looks nice oh this bitch what do you want to say Delphine come on hurry up you walk so goddamn slow oh my goodness but you guys can see just kind of little things like the texture of the ground is all it's a little more shiny and it is definitely a little more enhanced now you're going downstairs we're gonna have to chat through this dialogue, but through the beauty of editing, I'm gonna skip straight through this. All right, so we have to penetrate, penetrate. I mean, infiltrate. Oh fuck me. Okay, well first we gotta fight this dragon. I don't know how this is gonna go. Like I said, I'm only level 20, so this could be very, very rough. Get out of here. He didn't hit me that hard, so I don't assume he's gonna be crazy hard. But we do have to infiltrate the Thalmar Embassy and journey our way up to Solitude. Now I can't hit him. I have to put my bow on. Weapons. Actually, I can just go like this. You no what? Okay, no. Weapons Weapons uh Orcish bow, I believe, with some steel arrow. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I forgot how much of a noob I was on this. Okay. And what is one arrow? Oh my goodness. This is gonna take a second. Oh, finally. This literally took about 10 minutes. My god. Oh, there you go. You're dead. Blood Dragon down. Let's see what he's got for us. Okay, so we got Dragon Bones. Uh, that'll be a good to sell. Now we have to make our journey. So since that's dead now, we can actually move on. We have to make our way to Solitude and talk to the dude right outside. So we're going to go to Ustengrav and make our way from there. Now... Actually, it took like five minutes, so it wasn't too long. Now, I am actually really excited to play Skyrim because I haven't in a while, and I hope you guys can see that. It's a little dark, but look at the sky. Look at everything. This mod is really making a giant difference. Oh, really? You're going to teleport all the way from Riverwood? That, that That's pretty cool. But yeah, this mod is making a massive difference. I don't know if you can tell as much as I can, but it is so, so goddamn HD. Like, it, it, it is pretty crazy. This is probably one of the best texture mods that I have used if you guys didn't see, it is called Skyland, and it is made by John Rose. If you guys want to check him out, he, you, can, you can look for him in the mod menu and or just search the mod title. You'll find it there. I hope you guys can see decently. The light's not too bad. It's going to be a little dark because it's pretty dark for me. I mean, I could speed it up, but why not? We're exploring. So, we got a cave this way. I think we did a total circle right here. Making our way over. And... Discover this cave quickly. Put that away and zoom out. Movarth's lair. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty sick. All right. Now comes the long journey. Let's go. Uh, hopefully you don't encounter any of those stupid bandits that we have to shred on the way. Or even worse, like a bear or something. How far do we actually have to go? Like, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. That's a ways. That's well, it's an adventure. That's the whole point of this video is totally to just check out this mod in the most practical use possible. Like I don't like I don't like like oh this is a mod review. These are the coolest parts of the map. I like actual. This is how you're playing. And this is what's gonna look like. But like I said, I'm actually gonna speed it up because I can't see shit. So here we go. 
And that is way better. So it looks cooler, even. Like, in the daytime, the fog, the water, the water is super HD. My god, the shadows, the reflections, it looks so, so good. I could not, what the hell? You guys see that reflection? Is, the, is it that? It looks weird as shit. Like, those aren't trees, those are like walls. That must be a glitch. It has to be. Okay, but still, what do we got? There's an enemy over here. Who are they? Really? Really? One of you guys? Oh, this thing's doing... Oh, that is doing crazy damage. Wow. Uh, I just drank a ton of potion of heal disease, and I'm not even diseased. I think I was poisoned. So, healing, potion of health. Do we have anything else? Let's eat a ton of these. Now we're going to go like this. And run the hell away. Put those away. Put those away and just go. 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 Don't look back. Don't look back. No, there's no turn around now. Pick that. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, look how beautiful everything is. Just keep on running. That thing will fucking shred us. I'm only level 20, and this is like a level 25 area, so... Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's great. Where's it at? Another death bell. Right. Get duck, hot key. Get out of here. Keep going. So we got a bandit encampment of sorts. I think we're in the clear after that, but that was slightly sketchy. What do we got? Look at the shadows! That's crazy! Oh, did he follow us? Oh, that, that little sound freaked me the hell out. So we have a journal. Read the journal. Absolutely nothing. Didn't think we'd get anything from that. So, onward. Onward and upward. That was actually a lot faster than I thought. We covered a lot of ground right there. Uh, we have made it to the base of Solitude. This one like weird encampment place where you have to infiltrate it as a Khajiit and so on and so on and so forth. Mud Crab, you're down and out, buddy. And onward. Here we go. Awesome. Okay, so... What I'm noticing a lot about this mod is it kind of softens everything as well as sharpens the textures. Like, the sky is a little softer with a little more noise in it. If you get, like, noise is like dissolution, if you know what I'm talking about. Also, the grass is sharp. The textures on the ground here, just look at this. Look, oh, that one's actually a really bad example. <laughs> it shows an awful thing to be like, oh, that's pretty great. But, like, the rocks, look at that. There's just a lot more depth in them, and as well as the water. The water's crazy. Like, I couldn't, I can't like appreciate the water enough quite honestly the fog is also new that's not always going to be here the flowers everything it's, just, it's cool it's a really really solid mod in my opinion i'd probably give it like an eight and a half or even a nine out of ten for it being pretty much my favorite texture mod i've ever seen now i wish they could fix something that like this this just looks like garbage if they could fix that and like have waves hitting the screen or something i mean that'd be pretty sweet i think now we are at the base of solitude we're going to get up here hopefully yeah awesome okay we have to take the long way around, unfortunately. But, that's that's totally fine. We explored, we adventured, we almost got absolutely destroyed by a chorus, reaver, whatever it was called. And we have made it. Now, I don't think I'm going to actually do this mission, because this mission takes an eternity. It is so long, and there's so much chat dialogue, it would be the most boring thing in the world. And on that being said, we're going to make our way up to the top here. We have to go around the corner, and then upward a little bit more. If you guys even look at the back, like the stitching on the leather of the uh, back garment that I'm wearing is absolutely crazy. I can't think of the name right now, otherwise I would say it. So I just had to sound like a retard in the meantime. Have you heard? There's been another yeah, dragon. I killed it. Solitude looking mighty fine this time of year, I'll tell you that. I'd love to have a vacation home here, maybe the Blue Manor or such. And we've finally made it. So the end of this, like, not even test, but the end of this I really want to see is the inside of Solitude because it's one of the most, like, in-depth. There's stuff everywhere. There's just tons of tons of little things that can be mesh together and not look super good but if it's sharp i will give this mod a straight nine out of ten seven eight and a half and immediately i'm seeing that it really really is this mod is absolutely everything it's cracked up to be the only thing that would make this better would be an enhanced cities mod so more trees and stuff all around just so they weren't quite as open but overall this mod it's fantastic guys so again if you want to go check it out it is called the skyland mod it just came out it's still pretty nude and the uh, creator's name is John Rose, so go give it a look if you can. It, I think it requires like a medium range PC if you want to run pretty solid FPS. With that being said, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter. The at is on the screen right now, and it's also in the description. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave your feedback in the comment section below and or send me a tweet, and we will see you in the next one.